Yo, 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 what's good, everybody, man? It's Skitter the Dawn, back on the Mr. Skinny TV channel with another reaction video for you guys, man. But before we get into this here video, make sure y'all do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We almost at 100K, and I definitely need y'all help in getting there. So hit that subscribe button like y'all have been doing. We are at 88,000 subscribers right now. <laughs> Thank y'all for that. Continue to like the video. Continue to share them. Continue to get in them comment section. We love to uh, answer the comments, man, and actually answer y'all's comments back. So, um, I got a heck of a video to react to. It's from none other than Carlos King. Uh, make sure y'all go check him out. It's called uh, Did Shani Set Her Up? Truth About Shaq. Altercation with Drea, Words for Evelyn, and more. If you don't know, this here is an interview with um, Laura Govan, my good friend Gilbert Arenas' ex. And it's going viral. And everybody's been hitting me up like, oh, so are you going to speak on this? Or because uh, Gilbert is your buddy. Is, it, is he safe? Is you going to play the safe route or this and that? I'm like, yo, my people want me to speak on it. I'm going to speak on it. And here is my reaction. But before I get into it, like I said, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and all of that. Um, shout out to Carlos King. Uh, Carlos King. Uh, fair use. Um, if, hit me up on the back end if you want something for me reacting to this here. But uh, yeah, make sure y'all subscribe up to Carlos King. And here we go is the status of your relationship with your ex-husband Gilbert so let's clear this up we were never married that's a good thing because I think a lot of people think that her and Gilbert Arenas was married they was never married that's Laura Govan ladies and gentlemen um let me move this here out the way um that's Gilbert Arenas's uh, children's mother four of his children's mother and um if one thing I will be reserved in is I'm not going to call her no names, especially out of respect for not only, um, well, out of respect for her kids. Elijah Arenas, that's my dog. And, um, yeah. So I wouldn't even feel right uh, calling little nephew's mom out her name. So let's check it out, though. Okay. And to be, before I used to let that slide, because we were married by law, because it was a 10-year, blah, 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 because we were together for so long. But um, our relationship to date is the same as it was 12 years ago, 10 years really? ago. Really? Yeah. It's actually gotten worse. Law. I know. That's how I feel. I feel. How you think I feel? I live this shit. Because I was... It's actually gotten worse. Now, I was under the assumption that she was not allowed to speak on Gilbert at all. I thought that was court-ordered, but I guess she's just... Going back on it. They're with you while you were dealing with it. I mean, when we take the next 15, we literally follow you having to move out of the house. In the, do you remember I that? remember. Yes. Carlos. First of all, I you, remember. First of all, yo, you, work, you work yo. tour. Oh, you're not going to bring me down. And here, yeah. me boxes. I'm yo, like, I was, yo, we shot on iPhone. Yes. Oh, my God. I remember. You're, so you're, it's worse than that? Oh, my God. Why? Because now he uses the children. Because. He uses the children. I got to hear this. The Gilbert Arenas uses his children. I got this. I got to hear about this. Now he, excuse me, now he knows how to manipulate it because he can't directly bother me, right? So he knows how much I love my children. But here's the thing he also knows is that I love my children more than I hate him. So he attacks the motherhood side of it. Um, he's well, just done a- I don't understand that. I, I kind of understand that, but now she's starting to give me those creepy um, gold digging, wild, crazy vibes, Karen vibes. Let me see where this goes. A lot. He's done a lot. He's he's the devil is busy at work, and I fight it every day. And I <laughs> what is Gilbert the devil? <laughs> At is he the devil, ma'am? Even it's so bad that I had to tell his new fiance, who I like, 
to tell him to stop talking about me. On his podcast? What? Stop talking about me on your podcast, in the shower, at church, at the picnics, at the dinners. She done brought Melly into it? What? Oh, so this is what this about. Gilbert got a new fiance. And she black. Black, black. Why you had to bring her in? Him. So he attacks the motherhood side of it. Um, he's just done a lot. He's done a lot. He's, he's, the devil is busy at work. And I fight it every day. And I even, it's so bad that I had to tell his new fiance, who I like, to tell him to stop talking about me. Why do women think when they get upset that uh, if they tell your lady on you, they did something? Could somebody get in the comments and let me know about that? His podcast? Stop talking about me on your podcast, in the shower, at church, at the picnics, at the dinners, at the movies, in the car. Just be quiet. Just. He don't talk about her, though. He don't. Not how you saying it. Like, he might, if he get asked something on the show or something, but he definitely don't talk about you. He don't talk about you to me. Just leave me alone. And the one thing I have told my children is we have to get him out of our house. Hmm? So we don't talk about him. There's nothing to talk You have to get him out of your house so we don't talk about him. Gilbert ain't living in your house. What? Why would you tell your kids that, ma'am? Talk about. And now it's our son. Let's talk about our son, who's an, uh, a mega basketball player, yeah. right? In his own right. Right. I want him to have his own name. I don't want him to be, yes, you'll always be the son of Gilbert Arenas. I've never. What you mean? What do you mean? You want him to have his own name. His own name is Elijah Arenas. He's also the son of Gilbert Arenas. Now, look, Bronny James' name is LeBron James Jr., but they call him Bronny. What do you mean? If y'all were still together, would you want him to have? I don't understand this, man. This is wild. Ever been, and this is also something that I feel like play fair. Gilbert, play fair. I've always given you the title of fatherhood. I've never taken it away. Even when the judge said that you couldn't have it, I never took it away from you. I never took it away from you. The judge said that he couldn't have the title of fatherhood. When did the judge say that? Ever. I don't even, I, I wouldn't even talk bad about you. Never. I just, I had nothing to say. And people always to date. Why don't you tell the truth? Why don't you tell them that he really doesn't work his sons out? What? He don't work his sons out? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Cap. That's cap. That is cap. Cap, 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 capity, cap, 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 cap. That's cap. He don't work his sons out. Man, do you know? I gotta say this here, bro. I didn't want to do this. He's not gonna say this. Man, listen, man. The man is three hours behind me. Right. So, it'll be 7 o'clock my time. I'm getting my kids ready for school. So, it's 4 o'clock his time. We on the phone. He getting Elijah up to work out. I just, this, this is a lie. That's a lie. Let's talk about who you really are since you want to talk so much. Let's talk. It's not fair. And it's not, it's hard. And people are like, oh my God, it must be so much easier now that they're older. No, for me, it's not. It's, it's harder because now I have to tell the truth before I can mask it. I used to tell, it's funny that the kids, my daughter, she said to me now 18 at Louisville doing amazing. Oh my gosh, she got a full scholarship. One of the top 10 players in the country. She's phenomenal. My baby left. Uh, so that don't have nothing to do with Gilbert? So that don't have nothing to do with Gilbert. Now, just for the record, this lady was a basketball star in her own right. Okay. 
But come on now. <laughs> come on, man. I got two lefties, by the way. We'll get into the rest. But she is an amazing young woman. Amazing. And I remember her telling me when she turned 18, she said, okay, now that I'm 18, you have to tell me the truth. Because I always used to tell her, I'll wait until you get older. I'll wait until you get 18. And then I'll tell you the truth. And she was like, I want to know. And I, we sat down and we had a lot of cries and a lot of laughs. And I don't share just the, the bad, right? Because that's not real. There's some good in there. I have to give them all of it. But in, at one point, you know, her words, I was confusing them because it seemed like, how could he be this this person? But then you let us go with him. I had to answer to that. Hello. How can he be such a bad person now? But you was letting your kids go with him. Stop it. And my answer was always, he's your dad. I, how, and, how, that's, how, and that's her daughter asking. He's your dad. <laughs> like that word is just a, a word. He's your dad. <laughs> that means a lot. That's why you let him go with him. Asking you that. I, we got to keep it 100. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you're, you're his daughter. And I tell all the kids, we gave you in basketball. This is my basketball language. Because, oh, and that's another thing. Most people don't even know I play ball. I play basketball all my life. And I knew you played basketball. And I'm actually good. And those who know me know, right? But, um, and there was a, two years I led the state of California in scoring in high school. I went and played. I played overseas. I've done a we lot of basketball. I've coached on every level. We know. Basketball coaching. I coach our daughter. Um, but even like with our son, our oldest son, Gilbert really just came around. Huh? I have a trainer that has been with the kids for the last five years, who I now call my son. His name is Zach Basara. And he's always with my kids. He's with my kids right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. And he's He just came around. That's Cal. Anybody who's been watching me. No, Gilbert, Elijah, and all them been around as long as you've been watching, what, for the last two years? Come on. He's not just like some babysitter, but they're always in the gym. And he trains them, even with Elijah. And the thing that I see that is sad for me to watch, he loves it. He, he loves his father. That's not the sad part. That he loves his father, but the sad part is now, you love him now. That as a mom, as a mama bear, as a, as a woman that was with you for a really long time, that bothers me. When I, you know what's so crazy? You love him now? What do you mean by that? About that day that we packed and I packed up all my shit. Do you know we slept in the car for two days? You never told me that, what? We were in the car for two days. I did not call not one person. I could call anybody to get off yeah. a hotel, stay in somebody's house with my four kids. And I was like, nope, you know what I kept saying to myself? I got myself in this mess, I'm gonna get my, me and my babies out of it. So you know what I did? I took all those CDs, I put them in the player. I, they were watching Tom Hanks all night, uh, John Candy movies, and, and we drove. So you want us to believe that Gilbert Arenas let his four kids be homeless for two days? Man, Gil, it's time for you to crank the attorneys up, man. I can't believe this. Over around. I didn't I had two hundred and seventy one dollars. He left me with and that's what I had. And we had four trash bags. And that's all he would let the police, the officer. That's all he let me take. So y'all each one of your kids got a trash bag and you got two hundred and seventy one dollars. That was it. Something ain't sounding right. I remember that part. Yeah, and then he since had given me like an ultimatum, you come back, everything will be great. Man. I vowed that day that I would never sleep with him, go back to him, nothing. It was over. Because how can you, I knew that there was a checkout. He, he not even, a, he and I definitely had checked out because we were the fight a couple, right? Like we loved to fight and then we fuck. Like it was our thing. Mm -hmm. And it kept us together for a really long time. Mm. Um, but one day I just grew up, Carlos. And I looked at him and I was like, damn, you're ugly. Ugh. Not now you want to call the man ugly. See what I'm saying now? You see what I'm saying? Y'all see how these here women do you? This is the second dude. It was Shaq, Angel Reese and Shaq, and now this woman here is trying to Me Too Gilbert for some old stuff. Not even as your face, but you're just an ugly person. I had lost all my friends. Well, they weren't my friends anyway, but I had lost trainers. All off lies. They, they, uh, mm. it's because. it was a lot. Is because if people go with the person that oh, yeah. has the money yep, and the power. Yep. And you know what's so crazy about that, too, is that with that being said, they knew the struggle. They watched the struggle. And then they were in the struggle with him, too, because they realized, oh, this, you know, this is the most narcissistic shit I ever. So they went through their own hair. Man, these women, this must be just, that must be just a trigger word that women use. Narcissistic. 
some trips with him. And then they saw, but because he would give $100,000, $25,000 to their foundation, to who they, so it was, he could do it. And here I So you mean to tell me you want us to believe, right? I just want y'all to think about this, what this woman is saying. Gilbert Arenas would rather give strangers, organizations, $100,000, $25,000, just so they could believe him instead of giving his children $10,000 so they could have a place to stay? <laughs> like, stop the cap, lady. Or is it them kids getting older now and then some money getting cut back? Here I am, offering friendship and realness wasn't enough. So I realized this is why I fuck with broke people. Because they'll do anything. They'll do anything. That's true now. That's true now. Don't mess with a whole bunch of broke people because the minute somebody that they feel like they can get more out of than you, that's where they're going. We see that every day, especially on YouTube. To stay on, to figure it out, so I just don't. Oof. It even comes with, like, people with money, too, but not as much. So I just don't, you know, look, there's problems in everything, right? Every stature, every situation. But I'm just not, that part of it, I'm just leaving out. Do you get child support today? So here's the thing. I do. At first, he's always just giving me 7000 7000 a month for four kids? Uh, let's see. That ends up being 84000 a year for four children? 84000 a year for four children? Uh, you might have to move out of L.A., but if you got a job or you doing something, I'm pretty sure you can make that work. What y'all think? Eighty four thousand uh just for being a a basketball um just for bearing children a month a month for four kids even as babies i couldn't find a rental for less than like five thousand back in the day cap it's expensive to live in la but just say that the places that you could afford, you thought you was too good to stay there. Just say that. Imagine bills. Imagine this. Oh, I was paying for our daughter's private school. I was paying for our son's private school. Just for that. Okay. Why was you doing that? Why didn't you want him to go to public school? I'm just curious. I'm to stay in it. Our two other kids had to go into something else, into a community, a community school, which was fine. They, they flourished. Your two other kids had to go to community school, but your other two kids went to private school. So why would you make it seem like you had to? I don't get it, but hey. I made it where it was worth their while. You gonna love this watch. We gonna have a blast. Don't even worry about it. But my I know you is. You got $7,000 a month. What is he talking about? The oldest, I couldn't take out of school. She had been there for so long. It was all she knew. So personality-wise, I had to figure it out. I did everything but prostitution to keep them kids where they are today. Mm. Everything but, and I was on my way. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm like, well, if I'm sleeping with somebody, you gotta pay me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm gonna stay out of that. I'll let Gilbert tell that part. <laughs> this is where we at. This is where it's at. But I didn't date for a long time because of that. Because I had to dive in. I had to figure it out. I had to dive in. I remember that. I was like, you know, if I remember my friend telling me that they made a certain amount at Nordstrom's and Neiman's selling shoes. I was like, I could do that. And I'm a, I'm a Mexican and a Nigerian. I can work. Let's go. Where we at? <laughs> I've worked all my life. Bring it on. So I found the things that worked. But then it's like, here I am having motherhood. And then I got this over here trying to, he was uh, suing me and taking me to court. And, oh, let me clear up the court. Please. Because he's always saying how, oh, she takes me to court. She lost. She lost. That is not how that works. How right? That's works. not how our situation worked. Here's how that would work. We would go so long in the court. This man would take out tapes and be like, look, you, you were sleeping with. You get Sit down. Sit down, clown we would have to carry it the next, the next day or whatever day it was that they gave us. So we were in court a lot solely because our time ran out in the courtroom of the day that we had scheduled. So it wasn't like we were just going, going, going. I mean, we were, but it was only because you talk so much. Like, be quiet. Just and state facts. Just state facts. And then on top of that, here's my thing with child support. Did he win or not? Did he win or not? We ain't talking about how long the court went. We talking about did, it, did he win. I've never been a girl who buys bags. I get my clothes for free. You do? I get a lot of my clothes because for free. Because the, the impression is this. A lot of celebrities do. You get clothes for free. Brands give us clothes for free. Let's, let's okay, talk. Okay, here we go. Yeah, go. You're obviously a 10 out of a 10. Oh, so. Your outfits are a 20 out of a 10. You, so man. people assume like, okay, she got the money and all that. Mm -hmm. So how are you able to afford like your look and, and everything else? So a lot of people give me things because they want me to wear their clothes. Even with bags, those were gifted. So I don't care about clothes. I don't care about things. That's not my thing. You don't care about them because they give them to you. 
But you acting like Gilbert don't care about his kids, and that's what the part that I don't like. Because it's already hard being a black man out of here, much more or less being a black father. Plus, I see this man take care of his kids. And he'll even tell you himself, at the beginning, I'm talking about like at the beginning of the beginning. It was rough, but then he figured it out. Like, stop this, man. Right, but like, I wear a trash bag. You ain't got to know where this shit's from. I've, I've shopped at the Goodwill. Yeah. No, let me tell you something. I, I wear old shit, new shit. I don't care. I'll make that shit. It's, it, what you wear is not about what's on. It's how you present it, right? You don't even know what's going on with this hair. <laughs> the shit look good, though. Am I lying? Man, them California girls crazy, man. For real. All right, I ain't turning the quarter that way or a quarter this way. <laughs> Here. But you know what I'm saying? Like, what we doing? Make it work. Right, but that's my point. So it's not about, oh, like, oh, your clothes, your this. No, bro, I just make shit work. And I do it for the sake of the kids. I go always go back to my kids. I was going to sell all that shit. My jewelry, Rolexes, everything. I was saving all that shit for the kids that was gifted to me. I'm not going out buying that shit. I don't shop trendy anyway. I don't believe in that. I never have. I'm not showing up with a trendy bag of Louis Vuitton. Cap. On Gucci, all that. Give me something that's worth it. If I could sell it, I can get my money back. You're not a label girl. Yeah, I'm just not. You've never been a label I've girl. Cap. Never been. I'm not Gucci down to the socks. You've never that shit gives been me a headache. Away. Yeah, I would never, right? So that is why when people see me in like, uh, let me tell you today, baby. Let me tell you. Today, my boyfriend pays for our daughter to go to private school. My. So your boyfriend pays for your daughter to go to private school. Not Gilbert. Your boyfriend pays for your daughter to go to private school? What else? Boyfriend paid for my daughter to get a car. He bought her a brand new Your boyfriend. Bought your daughter a brand new car. You mean that Porsche that Gilbert bought her? New car. A Tesla. It's nice. He furnished her entire apartment. He pays for training today. And that is why for a long time I got off Instagram. Because I was like, you know what's so crazy? You mean your boyfriend who you cheating on right now? See, don't make me start spilling some tea. <laughs> You mean dead boyfriend? Easy is that I took this really pretty picture and I made it look good. I took the makeup off and the hair that I had in my head and clothes off because I couldn't wait to be normal. I couldn't wait. I just do it for what it is, right? So I realized that I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm exhausted. And trying to look pretty for who? I'm looking good for this in his house. And these kids be like, take that off. <laughs> and my son be like, bro, what are you doing? Why are you taking my ugly lashes off? They ain't even yours. My kids call me out so fast. So I say that to say this. I do it for a moment. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be cute, right? But I really like not combing my hair for two days. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Although I do shower, but I really like not getting... Can I ask you, because when did things get bad with your ex? Because the thing is this, obviously you guys fell in love and I'm sure things were great, but like, when did things get bad to the point where it's been like this for a decade? Like, do you... Do you... Great question, Carlos. Great question. Do you remember the... Like, did something happen to where... It's like, that is the reason why things are horrible even today. So my story, I'm sure, obviously, will never match his, right? Because he has his own feelings, and I honor those. I don't, you know, whatever you feel like we lived, okay. Because I, I can't give you what I have, right? And what I remember, what I know. I was miserable. I had everything, Carlos. I had my, my closet was phenomenal. I had beautiful bags. I had jewelry. I had a house on my finger. I had, I had everything. I had cars. I can go get whatever. And I had nothing. Why, though? Why? Why, though? Why? So Gilbert just took all of that from you? Why? 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 I was so depressed. I, I, was, so, I was such a happy, sad person. Mm. And it just wasn't okay. Because I couldn't be, I couldn't, I couldn't continue to live this life, like this life or the lie. I was in a rat race of trying to be in the social life. Like I was trying to be a mom. And I quit. I was like, you know, none of this shit matters. Mm. The only thing that matters are my babies. That's it. And even then, I still felt like I was failing. So it took me to a place of, it, I call it quiet time. I can't be in quiet time anymore. So I would talk myself out of quiet time. Quiet time for me is a depression state. And it took away from me, because I cook for my kids every day, but it took away from me cooking. It took away from me being out with them. We're outdoorsy. My kids never even had a TV until maybe this year. What? So you mean to tell me The great Gilbert Arenas. The black Tony Starks himself. The man who I personally seen with six PlayStation 5s catching dust, 12 iPads just sitting there 
Xboxes galore, TVs all over the place, all types of equipment, all of that. His kids just got a TV a year ago. Gil just got his kids a TV about a year ago, a year ago. <laughs> this is insane. And a lot of y'all people watch Gil's Arena. Shout out to Gil's Arena. Shout out to Gilbert Arena. That is crazy, bro. Gilbert Arenas once told me he got 26 TVs. Everybody didn't call the stray Melly. That's what happened. When these here women, these women are just start talking shit. Never. They didn't have TVs in their room. We had two TVs in all our houses, in all our homes. And when I say all our homes, because I was moving every year because I had to be. So where was the TVs? One in the living room and one in your room? <laughs> what, lady? You know, I was in a rental every year and I couldn't get nothing. My credit was so up. My life was in shambles. So hold on, you was in a rental every year. Like, hold on, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight, right? Let me get this straight. As a matter of fact, you know what? I don't even want to. I don't even want to. Mm. I was renting from friends who had properties that they could just loan me, like rent out to me with my babies. I remember there were times when I could, I had to figure out if I had to get, I was like, bro, okay, if I get, I got a hundred dollars, I'm gonna do 50 on food for what we're gonna eat for like two days, and I'm gonna do 50 on gas. This is real life shit. I now you know how many people would love to have $50 for food or $50 for gas every day? I remember going to court on an emergency hearing and the judge, this little white lady, and she said to him, you're a bad man. And I thought to myself, I'm never gonna win. My kids are never gonna win. And I'm not going to allow Your kids are never going to win. You're not going to never going to win because the lady, the judge said, you're a bad man. Look at her face. Man. The state and people who are up there judging me because they're just sitting there judging, looking, looking at us like these two, they're thinking that, oh, she's just getting money somehow. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to feed my kids. This is, a, this is my real life. So while you up there, you get to go home to your pretty little home. I'm trying to figure out where we're going to sleep tonight. That was real shit for me. And so those are the things that bother me when he still comes for me to date. Leave me alone. And that's why I thought, okay, if I don't say anything, if I just stay quiet, because I don't say anything. You know, you was quiet because you had to stay quiet. Maybe it was only for a certain amount of time and now you're back talking again. If, if I, he'll, he'll go away. He ain't going away. God damn. Aren't you tired? When do you run out of things to say? I'm like, damn, how many times are you going to talk about the same shit? Here go. Here go the victim stuff. Oh, he's talking about me. He won't go away. He's bullying me. He's... And then just recently you make fun of having to pay me from the 7000 the day our daughter turned 18. Let's talk about real life shit. Let's talk about the fact that not only did you do that, you bumped it to 6000 6, and, and it... She turned 18. Immediately, was doing shit immediately. And then, has, and then makes fun, buys them all these lavish things, right? But things that aren't needed for them. Huh? They don't need chains. My son had a chain with diamonds in him. What are we doing? How about you pay for his school? How about that? How about you not buy them a go kart? How about how about you buy them shoes? See, this is what I don't I don't I don't understand, right? She's complaining, saying that once her daughter turned eighteen, Gilbert went to the courts and got her payments dropped from seven thousand to six thousand a month. But out the same mouth, she's saying that he buys them lavish things. She's saying, well, why don't you pay for a school? So what basically she's saying is she wants to dictate the things that he buys them. No, once you get what the court say that you're supposed to get, he can do whatever he wants to do. And I think that's that's an even swap. Go-karts, cars. The kids go to public school. Stop, lady. I don't know. It's not fair. Play fair. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, because it's really about the children. He keeps talking about NIL. It is about the children. If, if the children are getting lavish gifts and you're not getting it, it seems like you're hating on the children, man. That's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. How about you buy them shoes? How about you buy them? It's not fair. Play fair. You know what I'm saying? Like. And for the record, the man got an Adidas deal. Gilbert Arenas is an Adidas ambassador. It is no problem for them kids to get shoes, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Like, 
He buys junkies shoes. Because it's really about the children. He keeps talking about NIL and, oh, all she wants is NIL deals for her son. No, baby. I did one NIL, a multi-million dollar deal NIL. You're giving him infomercials with free water for free because it only... Oh, Sue, so Sue done caught a stray. God. You did an NIL deal for millions? Did you do that for Elijah or you? I'm going to get out of that. Matter of fact, I'm done with this here video, y'all. Y'all get in the comments, man, and let me know what y'all think about this here video, man. This is Lord Govan on Carlos King. Uh, check him out. Run this here video up to a million views uh, on this channel. I just used a little bit of it. It's a whole hour and something long. And, yo, remember, subscribe up. Thanks for your time. Time is one thing you can't get back if you chose to spend it watching this here video. I keep telling y'all men out here. These here toxic women, men got to speak up. Like, bro, it's so much that I can say, bro. But uh, shout out to the real fathers out there. And Gilbert Arenas is one of them. And that is my dog. Salute.